everyone this is Corbain back with another little video this time I'm gonna be talking about the whetstone thicket here in the Dragon Vale I'm in the area where the Emerald Enclave is in control as you can see this is Etrin and this is who you come to to get all your missions if you're loyal to the Emerald Enclave or if you're working on getting her faction up but today we're going to be talking about where the dragons dragon sight statues are as well as the three mini bosses so the first one is right here across from where she's at you look up here grappling hook up there and there's the first statue you click on this statue and it will show you this fuzzy pink area and there'll be a shaft of pink light shooting up in the air and that's where you go to to get your treasure let's go on to number two just drop down from there Usually you go around and get them in order, well not really order, but the shaft of light will take you to the next one. So the next closest one is over here. This one's kind of a bit of a tricky one to get to. But it's right here next to where the second location for the heroic is. That's where the corruption is. And you can see it right up there. To get to it, you come over here, jump on these rocks kind of jump around right here until you get up and then you just kind of walk up the side of the mountain come back around drop down and there it is now if you haven't done any of these they're real simple you just click on them like I said it'd be a pink light and there's the shaft of pink light shooting up in the air sometimes I go like this to help me see them because if you go like this and it's on the other side of that mountain you won't know where it's at but that one's right there so then you jump down off of here, run past all these bad guys, and you can see it shows up pretty bright. You come by and dig on it. And there, I got some dragon jewels. Uh, kind of off, but this is one of the bosses. He's the wandering boss. He wanders around this area. He's a giant old bear, and he'll wander this river, basically, back around, and then he'll head off that way. So, the third dragon site location is around this corner from there. And there'll be this big spot right here with one of these, and there it is. See it? Grappling hook up there, up, up here, and there it is. And it'll show you a pink shaft of light over there for you to go get it. So I'm going to run over here and show you the other two mini bosses. The other two mini bosses are stationary. They don't walk around like this guy. He likes to walk around and he'll wander this path. And then he'll head off down that way. And so he's around here usually. Their spawn time's pretty quick. So you can generally catch him over here. And the bosses down here, they're the mini, they're little bosses but they're real easy to take down so you shouldn't be able to uh, run into too much difficulty killing them I mean they're not bad the second one is up here and there he is the wolf he spawns over here next to that altar so you kill him there's a treasure chest right there behind that rock and there's also the viewing stone right here this is this area's viewing stone the third boss if you come right here, harpoon up here, run around. They're conveniently really close to each other. Come back. And you can hop down, but you can also grappling hook right here. And it'll take you up here right to where he's at. There he is. So to show you how easy they are, I'll do it real quick. Play my song. Get near him. Whip. whip at him, bring in my Pegasus, get my artifact, and then poke him a few times. Alright, he dropped a pair of pants and a corrupted fragment. They drop very, they, the loot they, they drop is pretty good. If you're hard up for item level loot, their loot's pretty good. Um, the dragon stones are pretty good. They use them at another merchant. Uh, I don't know if they've unlocked it yet, but I've, I know where the merchant's at. 
I haven't really used them. I've just been hoarding them until I find out what's going on. But that's the whetstone thicket in a nutshell. It's pretty easy. Um, all the areas are fairly easy. The only area I get a little confused on is the area with all the undead, and that's just because it's gray on gray on gray on gray, so and it's dark, so it's kind of hard to maneuver around. But this player, this area is pretty nice. It's nice, bright, vibrant colors. The missions are fun. You sometimes have to go out here and take down these squads of bad guys to free frogs or toads. See the toad hopping around. Uh, most of them have to do with this corruption orb. And then there's areas without any orbs that you have to secure and then collect tea leaves. So all in all, pretty easy area. Really nice and colorful. So that's all there is about the Whetstone Thicket. I hope it helped out anybody who's trying to find these things. And if you've been having a hard time finding them, uh, that's where all three locations are. You can see them pretty much from the ground. You just have to look up. And then harpoon around or grappling hook around, and then you're done. So I hope that helped. Uh, I'll do the other two areas as I go. Uh, I didn't want to join them all together in one video. I wanted to keep my videos kind of short. And uh, I hope that helps out. Uh, if you have any questions about the Whetstone Thicket, leave them below. And I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. And until then, good luck.